women's division. I hope you're ready for a fight. Uh, Tamina is a scary woman. That is a scary human being. Product of the Hart Family Dungeon, carrying on the legacy of the legendary Hart Family in sports entertainment. Natalia always ready to handle things inside the ring. Yeah, the daughter of Jim the Animal Knight Hart, the niece of WWE Hall of Famer Bret the Hitman Hart. She's got the power of her father and the finesse of her uncle. Maybe the most respected superstar in the entire women's division. As we get ready for this tag team match, Byron, tell me, who do you like in this one? Come on, Michael, you know I can't answer that. Look at these teams. They both have what it takes to be the most dominant team WWE has seen in quite some time. There's almost no way to confidently pick one over the other. It's the Queen of Spades! Just to give you some insight into how Shayna Baszler thinks, she says... This ought to be good. She prefers to break someone's mind before she breaks their body. She's the submission magician. Protégé of Rowdy Ronda Rousey, Shayna Baszler, so impressive, so dangerous. One of the most physical women in all of sports entertainment. Yeah, and she knows it, too. Pretty amazing, Shayna Baszler, the first of the MMA Four Horsewomen to win a title in WWE. Quite the accomplishment for Shayna Baszler. Don't go anywhere.
Big time tag team match underway here. Oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum back. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Unceremoniously deposited down. And Byron, this takes a ton of strength to pull off, am I right? Oh, you are definitely right, Michael. But you also have to remember how much energy it drains to pull off. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Heart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. Beautiful technique. What a stomp. Good grief. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop. Here's a cover. All too easy for Natalia to escape. Gonna take more than that. If you ask a member of the WWE Universe about the Four Horsewomen, they'll likely refer to the quartet of Charlotte, Bailey, Sasha Banks, and Becky Lynch. However, there's another group that lays claim to that moniker, and it includes Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler. Yeah, both groups actually met face-to-face -face at the Mae Young Classic. Ronda Rousey, Jessamyn Duke, and Marina Shafir were there to root on Shayna Baszler, and they met with WWE's group. Rousey told them, quote, oh, you name the time, you name the place. All measured up. Oh. The two of you brought up the collision between WWE's and MMA's four horsewomen, courtesy of Shayna Baszler. Big opportunity here. What a stop. Good grief. Stepping through. Uh, Grabbing the legs, turning on the belt. Sharpshooter applied. This is all but over. What a huge opening for Natalia. The challenger's taking on some offense. To be expected, though, given the competition she's in there with tonight. The good news is that if it gets too out of control, she has her partner she can tag in while she catches her breath in the corner. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE Locker Room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember W. Uh-oh. Natalia oh, beginning to stumble a bit. The challenger's championship aspirations are beginning to fade. I don't know how much longer she can go on absorbing all this punishment. She needs to find a way to make it to her corner and make the tag. This might be one of the most tightly contested matches I've seen in a long time. Ugh. Any one of these women can win this thing. Oh. 
Tag Team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the Tag Team Title Tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural Tag Team Champions. There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the Finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. Yeah, it was. Shayna Baszler making her move. With all due respect, I think we're seeing the end for Natalya. She needs to find a way to turn things around fast. Nailed it. I do not like Natalya's chances here, guys. Natalya's chances just went from bad to worse. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop. And, and Shayna Baszler tries the early cover. The pin's broken up. I can't believe it. Oh, look at the squeeze. It's on like a vice grip. Oh, that just looks nasty. This might be it. Oh, my. But I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized... Shayna Baszler making her move! Damn it! We might be looking at a new champ here! Look at this. She lets her out. She better have a good reason for this, Cole, because she just had her seconds away from tapping, I think. Natalia says, not this time. If you ask a member of the WWE Universe about the four horsewomen, they'll likely refer to the quartet of Charlotte, Bailey, Sasha Banks, and Becky Lynch. However, there's another group that lays claim to that moniker, and it includes Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler. Yeah, both groups actually met face-to-face -face at the Mae Young Classic. Ronda Rousey, Jessamyn Duke, and Marina Shafir were there to root on Shayna Baszler, and they met with WWE's group. Rousey told them, quote, you name the time, you name the place. The two of you brought up the collision between WWE's and MMA's four horsewomen, courtesy of Shayna Baszler. In the time since that showdown, Ronda Rousey has joined WWE, while the other two MMA horsewomen have begun NXT training. Guys, that showdown looms ever closer. I, for one, cannot wait. Not only because we'll see some of the best MMA and WWE competitors meet in the ring, but I'd love to see Baszler put Sasha Banks in the Kirifuda clutch and make the boss quit. I'm going to go on the record right now and say Natalia is the physically strongest woman in sports entertainment. There's no way anyone can match power with the Queen of Hearts, though I think Natalia's strongest when her heart is black. Look at her go! It might only be Hart keeping Shayna Baszler in this match. Momentum doesn't appear to be on the challenger. Natalya strikes with Natty by nature. This one's over, guys. One, two, DDT. Now that's an impressive tag team victory. And here's another quick look at those superstars in action in that tag team battle. Oh, I can't believe this. She's taking care of business. Man, this was great. She proves she has what it takes to be one of the best in the business. The shoulders are down for three, and this one's in the books. Look out, girls. These two women don't look like they plan on ever losing. The arena is still buzzing over that great match.